Thanks for joining us for another Schoolbooks tutorial. Today we're going to be looking at how to import a course to your class page. So to start we'll navigate up to resources and we can see here that uh, within the faculty area of our storage uh, resources we have a course under geography called year 10. Now currently this course only has one unit of work but obviously a course can have many units of work and these units can uh, exist to house the curriculum material, uh, files, resources, you can see here there's a number of files and videos etc in this uh, unit folder and they can also have a home page to extend those files. So I previously set up this particular unit and you can see I've got some text boxes with content, descriptions, images, embedded videos, links, audio files, um, other files and resources, uh, our course builder and uh, we've got a, another tutorial that you can look up to see how we built this, videos, uh, embedded Google Maps, etc. So this particular unit will exist year on year and can be used across multiple classes or uh, and, and year on year. So uh, one of the benefits of our course builder is the ability to take these home pages and then add a whole lot of structure in terms of tasks, online assessments and quizzes and do work. And we're able to template that at this at this course and unit level, and then we're able to use that on our class at the start of the year or throughout the year. So we're going to navigate to a class page and uh, import this course onto our class, and thus make it uh, available to our students, as well as bringing in the, 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 those assessments and tasks. Uh, and assigning them off to our students for them to start working through. So I've simply clicked on a subject that I am teaching and uh, you can see that this is my uh, class page. So to bring the course, to import the course into our class page, we're going to use the uh, customization tab, browse to the learning category and we're now going to add the course outline component. You can see that the description here is to import a course onto your class page along with its tasks, assessments and rubrics. So if we've got rubrics uh, set up on the course or unit pages uh, in that, at that faculty uh, resource page, they're also going to come down with the uh, course when I do an import. Now it's important to remember that when we uh, import this course, it's just going to be taking a copy of those assessments so we're still able to, as a teacher, to refine uh, those assessments down further and customise them for our particular class. You may want to delete one due work item or add another one or add a task and you're able to do all of these things after you've imported it down to your course. So once we've added the course outline component, we're going to click Select Source and we're going to browse to our faculty area where that course is and we're going to click on the course level folder. So not the unit folders but the actual course folder and we can see that from this icon here next to year 10. So once we click uh, select it's going to bring us to the import course interface and uh, depending on how many unit folders are set up underneath your course uh, they're all going to display here and we can optionally select which ones we want. Now you can either bring in uh, all units or you may just want to bring in a couple uh, and you can also now set the start and uh, due dates for this for these units. So you may want to have all units running at the same time or you may want to stagger those units so that uh, Students won't be able to access those materials or get those assessments until the actual open date. So once we've set up our dates, we're going to click import. And that's going to bring a copy of the course down to our class page. 
So students will be able to see uh, this in a slightly different view, um, but they'll be able to see each of the units and they can click on these unit pages to then access all of that uh, material, all of that content and those resources. So you can develop these resources to um, continue to evolve. Uh, if you come up with a new link or a new file or a new video, you can add it to this uh, course unit page and all of the students then across all the classes that have this uh, course added will see those changes to that content. However, they won't see change. If you make a change up at the course level to a to an actual uh, task or do work item, that won't be reflected now down on your class pages. So essentially when you add the course, it takes a copy of all of those assessments and adds them to your page and then allows you to further modify those tasks down at your class level. So you can see as a teacher, um, I can also reorder order these. Um, I've got a count of how many students have completed them and I'm also able to access the task progress report and this is going to give me an overview of all of the students in my class and the tasks that they need to complete. Now as I go through I can either uh, tick them as pending or complete and of course if students um, are completing uh, self-assessed tasks if you put post a link to a page or a video, when the student clicks that task, it's going to be automatically ticked as complete uh, for you. As we complete these other assessments, uh, those grades are also going to come through to this uh, unit report. Now, of course, you've still also got the full uh, list, the full class mark sheet uh, that's also going to detail those new assessments. Uh, but it's not going to detail the tasks. So the task, task progress report will show the tasks and the due work associated with that course, whereas the class mark sheet is just uh, to reflect actual accessible items and gradable items. So that's how we actually bring the uh, course down to our class page through that import uh, using the course outline component. I hope that's been helpful. There's more information detailed on our wiki at wiki.schoolbox.com.au. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.